Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. Today we're going to investigate the Warehouse District Data Trail. I wonder where it will lead. Certainly not to a secret organization called F11 or something like that. That doesn't even make any sense. That'd be just idiotic. F11. Come on. What kind of name is that for a secret organization? G-22? What are they doing here? Alright, I'm in. Mina. Mina, do you copy? Great. Signal's jammed. Looks like I'm on my own. Yep, we're on our own. And that means no interruptions with inane chatter. Of course, that also means I have to fill in my own inane chatter. So sort of a give and take thing going on. Anyway, <gasps> this is the correct way to go to turn off the camera. And look, a false affordance. What kind of elevator would be locked with a keypad? I, I don't understand that. But, that's why I'm not a secret agent, I guess. Oh, hi there, buddy. Oh. Our buddy fell down. I haven't really shown off the, uh, gadgets much, but I figured I'd try to toss off a few, uh, incendiaries. Set some people on fire. Yeah, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Certainly break things up from just shooting people. A network hub. That must be what's drawing all that power. I hope you like the sound of that alarm, because I didn't bother to turn it off, ever. I mean, I would just set off the alarm as I went. Didn't really see much point in turning it off. Let's see, you know, just the one goodie in this room. What was it? Oh, that guy's outside. That's up. Checking things out. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> I do love this improved shotgun. I really like the new weapon. See if I can land one on the landing. Ah, uh, close enough. Stop, drop, and roll, buddy. Well, he did the stop and drop part anyway. What the heck went wrong with that guy's voice clip? Ah, uh, fire. Fire good. Damn. Signal's not getting through. Must be a jammer somewhere. I'll have to bypass. Now, you may have noticed we bought an intel about hacking multiple things. That's what that was. It was... You only had to do one of the servers in this room to get all three. It's not that big a deal. I mean, if you're trying to stealth your way through, you kind of have to go through the room anyway. But it means you don't have to stop and tag each one. But... We're going for the, uh... The third option in this mission, you may recall in the recruit run, we had to choose between deactivating the bugs to get Albatross's good graces, or leaving them on to get intel, and 
and you guys voted to shut them off. There is a third option. And, as I may have mentioned before, it's not tied to recruit versus veteran. You can do it on any run. But, you have to tag all six of the server hubs in the level where only three are required to actually complete the objective. And that's about it for goodies in this room. See, there's another one right there. And another one right there, ahead of us on our left. So just one more. It's not entirely obvious where it is. But I think maybe why people to miss it, along with the fact that it stopped being an objective. And that costs affordance. And there it is, tucked away in the corner back here. So now we've bugged all six hubs. And we'll get the third option in the cutscene at the end of the mission. There's a real door. Ah. Unfortunately, all we get is that dossier on Scarlet. Uh, we already completed her dossier in the recruit run. That's why I haven't been showing off the uh, dossiers, really. We pretty much saw all of it already. Die. There we go. Oh, the guy with a turret is chewing me up. Now that. That is one hell of a jamming device. So is the shotgun shell to the face. That'll jam you right up. Incendiaries, let's throw on our first aid kits. They just love to do those flips when they get shot. Oh, let's run for it. Oh, we've got covered. Now, let's see if we can take the guy out. Oh, he's not even going to shoot at us. Well, that was easy. This is definitely what's blocking the transmission. Bypassing it will be tough, but blowing it up isn't exactly covert. Yep, you can blow it up. And that's pretty much all it takes right there. That was... oddly cathartic. Transmission link-up's good. Time to get out of here. Yep, it's a really fragile system. So technically you could just shoot it from a distance with your assault rifle and not have to fight your way through some of the guys, but you do have to go to that other roof shed to get to the exit. So you kind of still have to go through part of the rooftop area. And at this point, we're just fighting our way through this copy pasted room. Ah, uh, shot in the back. What a way to go. And is this the copy pasted room or is it the next one? That's a joke, folks. Yep, I'm so funny. I just wanted to show this off. There is a path over here on the left with a ladder that you can use if you are trying to stealth your way through here and evade these guys. What is this computer for? I don't know why they're not showing up. Well, whatever it was for, we got 25 XP for it. Open 
the door, get some goodies. What's that first aid Heart kit? No, turn around. First aid kit there. <laughs> you ran the away. Back what was that? I was gonna give him a party oh, in his mouth. But he didn't want to be invited. Contact lost. Yeah, no Heart kidding time. contact lost. He ran away from me. Yeah, let's just go this way. Hey, buddy. Now we get a couple free gadgets. Oh, and they are automatically in our inventory. How nice. Oh, let's set someone else on fire. Why not? He didn't get knocked down. Hey, buddy, have a grenade. Oh, uh, nobody caught fire. What a shame. Grenade. I don't know what's better, the, the flips or that guy just kind of flopping back when he got shot. Oh, come on, die already. There we go. Chase you all over the place. So, again, we got two arrows on the roof that don't really come into play, but once again, there's a side path you can use for evasion, which I never use because it's too far out of the way. But if you get up over here, you can. <coughs> Jump down onto a shipping container and top the fence rather than fight your way through. What the hell is up with my PDA? Uh oh. Albatross. It's been a while since Moscow. Where's Sis? Oh, that's right. I killed her. As if her death wasn't enough. I see you've been busy attacking the rest of G-22. If this is a war, Agent Thornton... What's it to you, Albatross? I was just checking a lead. The next thing I know, your glorified IT guys are crawling out of the woodwork. You've placed monitoring software on our servers. You managed to infiltrate our system completely. You're very thorough. I wasn't expecting to find G-22 here, but they sure didn't make me feel welcome when I arrived. Now you want me to do you a favor, right? Eavesdropping on our servers won't help you. I'm guessing you're looking for an Al Samad and Halbeck connection. So you're working with both. I should have known. We've been monitoring both Al Samad and Halbeck, but are affiliated with neither. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, Agent Thornton. Why would I take your word? I can search your servers now and find out the truth. If you access that data, I think you'll find it's more trouble than it's worth. Disable your monitoring software, and I will compensate you. I know why you're here. I can help you. Refuse, and you'll find you have few friends here in Taipei. Well, I'm surprised you found all the programs. Guess I wasn't as careful as I thought. It took a while to place all of them. Yes, the fifth was a tricky one. But by then, we knew what to look for. I'll delete those security exploits. They were a little obvious without some sort of backup. In exchange for removing them, I could use your help. This operation is turning out to be larger than I expected. Thank you, Mike. And as for your mission, let us say that G-22 has no interest in seeing President Song placed in jeopardy. So, you have been eavesdropping on al Samad and Halbeck. Yes. Halbeck underestimated Shahid. The man was no fool. But even G-22 hasn't been able to determine how Halbeck intends to pull off the assassination, or who the assassin is. I'd rather not wait until Sung is shot to find out. That help you mentioned. G-22 will be in contact, Mike. And thank you. Yep, with all six bugs placed, you can tell them that you've turned them all off while still leaving one intact. And get the best of both worlds. Except we kind of already burned our bridges with G-22, so yeah.
More like a compromise that satisfies no one. But in any case, it has been successfully shown off. Where have you been? I lost track of you as soon as you entered the warehouse. There was a signal jammer blocking transmissions. Had to get rid of it. Would that have anything to do with the huge explosion our satellites picked up a little while ago? Well, you know what they say. Can't make an omelet without blowing up a few illegal cutting-edge jamming devices. Actually, I think you might be the first person to say that. Ever. I'm a visionary that way. You'll never guess who I just got a call from. Who? Albatross. Albatross? I didn't know G-22 had a presence in Taipei. Yeah, it was a shock for me too. I'm guessing he didn't call to chat. What did he want? He wanted my bugs shut down. He was good. He found all five bugs in just a couple of hours. All five? Well, I planted six. Very devious, Mr. Thornton. Well, I have my moments. So, what do we got? This is a gold mine, Mike. Major players operating in Taipei. Political and economic trends, activist groups. It's going to take a while to sort through all this. Start with anything relevant to the assassination. It looks like the network was part of the shadow net G-22 uses to monitor global intelligence services. I ran a search for the keywords Ronald Sung and assassination, and got a hit. Anything we can run with? I've got an email intercept indicating that the assassin will be receiving the details of the assignment tomorrow night at the subway station on the Xingmei line. That's not a lot of new information. It's something. Maybe if we can find a way to tap into the NSB's computers, we can narrow the search a little more. I know just the guy to talk to about that. Hopefully he's not as crazy as he seems. Stephen Heck? I'm not sure you can trust him. Well, neither am I, but he did offer to help me get access to the NSB's archives. I'll be in touch when I have more news. Okay. Good luck, Mike. So yeah, Mike's really proud of his little bluff there. In any case... We've only got one mission left in each hub, so I think I'm just going to take a vote for which hub to finish first. Since once we do the remaining mission in Moscow, it's just going to lead to the Braco mission and then Surkov. And once we do the remaining mission in Taipei, it's just going to lead to the subway station and then the assassination mission. I only have one vote so far for any kind of facial change, so unless somebody speaks up, that's what we're going to be going with. And in the meantime, I just decide to put all the AP into technical aptitude. I'll see you next time.